who's number one? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Fun NFL. We got the post week 11 power rankings. It sh should be really fun. Of course, the NFL's been really wild so far, so be really hard to rank these teams. So let's go right into it. First team we're doing is the Bengals. The Bengals, I have to put in B. Here's why. They beat a team on the road that they were not better than. Yes, the and they, well, they are better than them, but they were on the road. They were coming in. They needed to win. If they didn't win, they were in trouble. So they got the win. They stay ahead of some other teams, and they really need to be good at down the stretch, but they showed he bounced back after some two tough losses. The Browns, I still have to put in C. Like, you beat the Lions by three points. They've been so inconsistent. More inconsistent than even the Bills and the Rams. They're so inconsistent. They're 6-5. and five. They barely beat the Lions. No confidence in this team right now. Who knows, though? They could be good. Jaguars still one of the worst teams in the NFL. Yeah, they beat the Bills, but, you know. They're two and seven. They're one of the worst teams in the. Uh, they're actually two and eight. They're one of the worst teams in the NFL. So they go there. Lions, of course, they're winless. They're playing on Thanksgiving. Maybe they get a win at home over the Bears on national TV prime time. Well, it's not exactly prime time, but I call it prime time. So yeah, maybe they get a win on national television. But we'll, we'll see. Vikings, uh, they go and beat you. They beat a team that they were not better. Than, obviously, the Vikings are better than the uh, Packers are better than the Vikings. But they beat them at home. They win for them. They go and beat you. Their record is they, they're better than their record, that's all I would say. Maybe if they have a little more consistency, they're good. But also, put back in S, they're a really good team. Uh, they're 5-0 at home, which you show. So if you win at home, you're going to make the playoffs. That's how it works. If you go 8-0 at home, it's really hard not to make the playoffs. But they, they have gone 5-0 and so far. They've shown we can win games, bounce back. Some other teams haven't shown that yet, so that's why they go there. They're still one of the best teams in the NFL. Niners have put in B. They're scary. Uh, good chance, honestly. Uh... They could catch the Rams. They could definitely catch the Rams. Cardinals going to be hard, too, but I would not be surprised if they could be a threat in the playoffs. They're really good right now. Falcons, they're not going in F because they're better than the Jaguars, but they're in D. They've lost two straight. They got blown out in both games. Haven't shown anything showing they're a C-tier or even a B, like an average team. They're a D-tier team right now. That's where I have them. No offense to any of you fans, but they go there. Ravens, A-tier. Um... Yeah, you beat the Bears on the road. The Bears are really bad. Uh, yeah, you beat them on the road with a backup quarterback. Really good. Big win for them. But they didn't show they should go in the S because they didn't beat a top-tier team. And they just lost to the Dolphins with the Lamar. And Lamar hasn't won since that game. So I have to put them in A. They probably deserve to go. They could be in S, but I have to put them in A because they just haven't shown me anything yet. They play the Browns on, Monday, on Sunday night on the road. No, they're home. So we'll see. Jets, um, they're in F tier. They're two and eight. Also, Joe Flacco almost beat the uh, Dolphins. If you didn't know, the Dolphins are a really on the edge, risky team. But yeah, the the Jets are terrible. I don't really know what else to say. Partly injuries, they could probably be a D tier, D tier team. Robert Sala is not a bad coach. They have a good offensive coordinator. I like what they're doing in New York, but uh, they they're kind of a mess right now. Dolphins, they've put in C tier. They've won two in a row. They beat a good team, and then they almost they lost. Well, they were playing on the road, but. The Dolphins have just been really inconsistent. Maybe if they can keep playing better and keep improving, they could be a good team. Like, they're not making the playoffs, but, well, who knows? They could, but they have really some chance. Right now, they want to improve for next year and get some big wins. Uh, Bears, they're D tier. They've lost five straight. If they lose to the Lions, they might go to F. I'm joking. You can't put them in F because they actually are competitive with almost every team. They don't lose games by 40 points like the Jets and the Jags do. They play some really good football, so I have to put them in D. Even if they're, they've lost five straight. Uh, Cowboys, don't put them in S. They lost. They got shut. They didn't put a ball in the end zone. And when you do that, you're not going to win many games. They just didn't look great. I have to put them in A. Uh, they are a good team, but I cannot put them. I can't put I can't, them, can't put them in S right now. They just lost to a team they could have beat on the road. And I can't really put them anywhere else. Texans, good good job. You're still, uh, you're still one of the worst teams in the NFL. Yeah, good job. You upset the Titans. You're going to need like four straight wins before you go anywhere. But. Who knows? Colts B tier. Uh, they blew out the. Uh, but pe people think is a top as a really good team on the road, which is kind of. They're they're trending forwards. They're five. They've won five out of their last six. They're a really good team. I hope they play better though, because they're gonna need to really play well down the stretch. Rams. They're still an A, like I said, off a of bye. I can't really change them. If they beat the uh, Green Bay on the road, they're gonna go to S. Uh, 
the Rams need to win their uh, next couple of games. They're gonna have to win. If they win out, they're making. They're getting the number one seed. I'm guaranteeing it. If the Rams win out, they get the number one seed. If they go six and one, maybe four, five and two, probably not. They're gonna have to win a lot of games. So it's it, it's time. Chargers uh beats here. They blew a lead. Lead. They got it back. Um, they're really dang. They're da really dangerous team offensively because they're really inconsistent. But they they're basically when they're at their best, they're one, they're one of the hardest teams to beat in the NFL, especially at home. But they can be really inconsistent. But I gotta meet their top. Their their potential when they're playing their best, they're a really hard team to beat. Raiders C tier. I can't put them in uh, D tier, but if they get mauled by the Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day, uh. I might have to put them in D tier. Uh, I just gotta say they're collapsing. They were five and two. They've lost three straight. They're collapsing. They gotta. They gotta win this game. They if they want to even want to recover. Uh, gotta admit, I got. I've been impressed by Washington. Taylor Heineke's been awesome. He got, they've gotten two straight wins, huge wins. They're going into C tier. They've beaten some pretty decent teams. Gotta put them in C now. They sh they've shown it. Chiefs. Uh, I'll keep in B. I can't put them in A yet. Uh. One more game from that offense, and if their defense and offense can come together and play a really good game, which they've already had, I've already seen from them, yeah. But if they can like really get a dominant win, hence, let's see, who are they play? Uh, hence week thirteen, they're able to do that. I can put them in A, but they just haven't won enough games yet. Where I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm not totally convinced yet. Saints will keep them in C. Uh, they're really they were they got blown out by the Eagles, who are honestly a better team than them, but. Can't put them in D because they are still 5-5. Five five. They have a chance of winning this division. Yeah, I know how crazy that sounds, but they're just hopeless right now. But I can't move them out of C because they are 5-5. Five five. They've been in some competitive games without their quarterback. So I, and they've been really banged up, but I will keep them in C because they have been pretty competitive. Titans, um, I'm moving them down to A just because they've lost the two teams that are in F tier. Uh, you cannot play like that. And expect to be like a top dog. They did not play like a top dog. They played like absolute crap. Like literally, the Rams could have played like they did the past two weeks and blown out both of those teams. Cause no offense, the Titans were awful. Their defense was not good. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Their offense, I don't even know what to say. They just did too many turnovers. That they go to eight, they're gonna probably go back this year. But six game, they've just been really like wacky losses that's why they're in a tier should they be in s tier oh absolutely but i can't put them in there when you then they just lost the texans at home just can't yeah uh giants they're not in f tier they should be but they're in C D tier uh they fired their offensive coordinator i don't really know what else to say they're just not a good team uh they got blown out by a team that was much better than them and as you saw they kind of imploded they're done uh good season giants eagles not mathematically but they kind of are Eagles, um, oh, they're, they, they played really well their, their past two games, like, really well. Play like this, they might, they might upset a team like the Cowboys. Uh, they're, they're pretty inconsistent, but if they can play at their best, they're, they're definitely, I wouldn't say they're yeah, as high as Chargers, but they're a good team. They just gotta keep playing well and they'll be good. Like, I mean, uh, the Steelers won't win games if their defense doesn't play well. It's not, the, it's not the fact that their offense isn't bad, their offense is okay. No, it's, it's pretty bad, but their defense is what carries them, and if their defense doesn't play, though, they won't go in games. Broncos, I had them in seats here last week. I got to keep them there. You can't move them when they're on a bye unless they get, like, I don't know, Tom Brady or Aaron Rod unless they get Aaron Rodgers, so I have to keep them in C, but they're, they're just going to be average this year like normal. Like, I don't really know what else to say. Packers, they're in S tier. Uh, they lost, but they're still a really good team. They lose to the Rams. They might go down to A, but they're still one of the best teams in the NFL. Not going to be easy to beat that team, especially at home. Panthers are in T tier, uh, five and six, but Cam did look pretty well, not great. They're just, they gotta have that fine balance. If they have a fine balance, they will win games. That's all I really have to say. Uh, Cardinals, number one, they're the best, they're the best team in the NFL in terms of record, and I think they're the best team in the NFL overall. They, cr they beat, they, uh, wouldn't say they dominated the Seahawks, but they beat the Seahawks pretty well on the road. Uh, so, and they were two and one with Cole McCoy. Kyler comes back, uh, after their bye. Much needed rest week for them. They have a couple, They have two big games coming up again at the Bears and versus the Rams on Monday night. So they're gonna have to win some games. If they want to maintain that number one seed. Bills, uh, they're in B tier. They're just like basically so inconsistent with so much talent that you can't move them beyond past B unless they're like six and eleven. They're just so talented. I have to keep them in B. They're a really balanced team, but they're just so inconsistent. 
Seahawks D tier, uh, they're three and seven. I don't know what else to say unless they were like a three and seven team that's lost five games by a point, and they've ha they're like number one in total offense. Something like, they're not going to C tier. They're not a good team. Like they're just not good this year. That's all I have to say. Russ has not been good. Their defense has been inconsistent. It's not been terrible. I gotta admit, it's been better, but it's still not great. Uh, Patriots A tier. Uh. The last two weeks showed, yeah, they were pretty darn good. I, I, yeah, you call me getting caught up in it, but I haven't seen that type of football since Tom Brady's been there, so I got to put them there. They absolutely dominated. the. Their offense wasn't great, but they were great against the Browns. They weren't great against the Falcons, which was actually a worse defense. They find that consistency. This team could be the best team in the NFL. I'm not kidding. It's a really dangerous team. Good for your Patriots. You won five straight. Either way, like, subscribe. That's the end of the week. Anything for week 11. So, yeah, I hope you liked it. Thanksgiving's in two days. Have a good Thanksgiving. Watch some football. Eat some food. Like, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. And, of course, thank you guys for subscribing and watching these videos because it always helps me. Hope you liked it. Happy Thanksgiving.